Deuteronomy 24.10 Ki tashe verecha mashat meuma lo tavo el beto la avot avoto. And once again, it introduces the conditional if here. So we get the, the prodesis of the condition here. We're going to get the apodesis down here with the low. So we might think here's the if, and then we get then. Uh, we don't have an actual then here, of course, but logically that's what's going on. Uh, the verb that we have here at the beginning, tashe, is interesting. Uh, it is from the verbal root, according to Halot, the verbal root nasha with an aleph which means to lend out with something with like repayment. So like lend out in debt. And so uh, they get the hay here, but there is a uh, text critical note in BHS that says that in a couple of manuscripts, Hebrew manuscripts, and also in the Samaritan Pentateuch, you do get this Aleph root here. And so uh, it's an interesting word as far as whether we're looking at a third Aleph or a third hay. Here in the form, it seems to be following the third hay morphology with that Segol hay in the imperfect. The A performative vowel here, the Patach, gives us a Hifil, and then we have the one noon assimilating as the Dagesh right here. So we end up with a Hifil imperfect second masculine singular, you shall not lend out to your friend or with your friend. And then here we get a pledge of something, or this would be together something like uh, a, a loaned item on pledge of any kind. And so you shall not loan out on pledge to your friend or to your neighbor a loaned pledge item of any kind. Now, if, if, if you do that, all of that is the if clause, if you do that, then you shall not enter, call imperfect second masculine singular of the verbal root, bo, you shall not enter to his house, third masculine singular predominal suffix there, to take the pledge of his pledge, or to take the deposit of his deposit. So you shall not go get the thing that you loaned out with pledge, you cannot go get that pledge. Here we've got a call infinitive construct of the verbal root ayin bait tet. And then here you can see the cognate accusative there uh, with the third masculine singular pronominal suffix. You shall not enter to his house to take the deposit of his deposit or to take what he owes you.